Hello, my name is Pierre Hessler. I'm a Capgemini Fellow and uh, in charge of the container called Balance by Design in Technovision. Why this name Balance by Design? We choose it because we think that technology businesses are made up of a series of balances and that designing systems should support going for these balances. Balancing among the interests of all stakeholders is obvious. Balancing between centralized and decentralized. Balancing between authority and some degree of freedom. Balancing between purposeful and spontaneous. Balancing between short and long term. All of these balances need to be observed and implemented in systems. Now, this principle is different from the six others. The six others describe the what of technology. Balance by design describe how technology should be put to work. And it's not made up of descriptions. It's made up of prescriptive principles, which we suggest to you as being useful to observe while designing new systems. Who can take advantage of these principles? Everybody maybe as a checklist. The architects for having a variety of angles of point of views on the systems they are developing. And even for executives that gives uh, good ideas for control questions to ask the developers about the new systems. Let's go through these seven. The first one is called technology, including Mark in two directions, business. And it's read, every business should be a technology business. The principle is very simple. We go further than the years of alignment we spent uh, uh, trying to get business and technology uh, fitting together well, we go for unity, where there is true technology business. The second principle is called Adapt First. And it is uh, in line with the motto of Technovision, be like water, like water, be like water. A good way to approach this ideal of being like water is to not think about adaptations when the need for the adaptation comes up, but from the start, building adaptation into the very first design of the new system or the new application. The third principle is called with open arms. And it says being open is not enough. You need to not just be ready to welcome a user, a partner on your platforms, you need to attract them. Because guess what? The neighbors are trying to attract them too. So you want to have more welcoming open arms. Fourth principle, do well, do good. One couldn't have seven principles of Technovision without one devoted to sustainability not just physical sustainability, but also it will play an increasing role, social sustainability. And we see that and believe that it is a truly joint responsibility of business and technology to create uh, sustainable uh, businesses. And a simple way to do it, when it's not adding to sustainability, just say no. When it is, just say yes. The next principle is called trust, thrust. And thrust, trust <laughs> is an elusive uh, uh, attribute much, much needed for every business. And we believe that technology and business have to be together to generate trust. Contrary to some people who are pleading in favor of technology fortresses. The sixth principle is called IQ up, CQ up, EQ up. 
And it's, of course, intelligence, uh, creative, and emotional quotients. We introduced CIQ, corporate IQ, and technovision years back. And uh, uh, we, we, we think that just taking advantage of data, algorithms, all kinds of more or less natural or artificial intelligence is not enough. One needs to put that at the service of people so that improving their creativity, uh, playing to their emotions, and therefore it's adding the human touch to uh, the corporate intelligence. And the last principle is called no hands on deck, obviously the contrary of all hands on deck. And no hands on deck is kind of a utopia for some, that we could have businesses which just run on their own without human interventions. We don't go that far, but we believe that we need to accelerate the way we take advantage of what we learned with technology automation and apply it as fast as we can to business automation, especially in these periods of uh, uh, lacking critical resources for our development. So these are the seven principles. You can apply this one or that one, up to you. However, you will get the maximum benefit and the best acceleration towards technology businesses if you apply all seven. They will give you seven league boots in order to go faster towards your technology business. Thank you for your interest.